The engineering field, historically, especially in the automotive range, has looked white and male. When I was in graduate school, um, there were no female faculty in my um, area, and there were very few female students. You know, we're talking 15, 20 years ago, but, but I feel like, unfortunately, not much has changed today. I was hosting the live stream session, the first live stream session of the meeting yesterday morning, and I counted the participants in the room, 122, three of them women, and that included me. I think if we want to see more women in engineering, and especially in engineering senior leadership, we have to fill the pipeline, and that begins early. And there are a lot of things that we can do. One of the things we need most is we need male allies. And we, we need those male allies to start really young. And what we really need, especially as we go through our early career and mid-career to get to that senior career, we need mentors, we need allies. So the problem is there are trickle-down effects, right, that we might not be aware of. To combat those unintended biases, we just really need to be cognizant of it. It takes effort. It takes effort to combat those unintended biases, but it's important and it's the only way we're going to see more women um, in engineering and in engineering leadership. And the more we see women in leadership, the more we'll see younger women join because you really need to have a role model in order to see yourself in a field. If you're a woman in engineering and you're, you're feeling some of these biases, find a mentor. There are so many women in this field who want to help. We don't want you to go through the same thing we did. You can Google me, look me up, reach out to me. I am happy to help. Um, find a mentor, find someone who's going to encourage you, find a support network, right? Hopefully it's not all women. Uh, you can have a support network of women and men. Find mentors who are going to back you, have your back, and who are gonna listen to you and, and listen to your struggles and not dismiss them. Listen, understand, and help when you see it.